Ladies and gentlemen, our next bout brings us three three-minute rounds of kickboxing following the glory rule. 205 pound weight limit. The referee in charge in the middle of the ring is Chris Wagner. This bout is sponsored by 300 Spring Street Development and Newcastle Building Products. Introducing first from the blue corner, out of Team Lionheart, wearing the, black, the white trunks from Bayonne, New Jersey. Welcome, please, Mark Lionheart Glover! Coming out of the red corner from Team Tiger Shulman, wearing the tiger gear from Little Ferry, New Jersey. Welcome, please, Philip Holmes! Paul's is sporting those traditional tie shorts. I've heard a lot of good things about Philip Holmes. I'm very excited to see him fight tonight. Once again, just as in our first fight, we see two opponents with a pretty significant height difference, although Paws is, is uh, no small man at six foot tall, 205 pounds. Here we go, first round of three if we need him. And again, Orthodox versus Southpaw. Glover coming out quick with those kicks, as you might expect from a taller fighter. Phillip's gonna have to use those overhands like Pat did last fight. Look at his legs, Matt. Those, those legs are like tree trunks on Hawes. Very John Jones-like, right? Well, I was, I was oh, I'm sorry. Hawes, you're talking yeah. about. I was looking at the kicks oh, okay. of, of Mark a Glover. Of, yeah, a little bit of controversy there on the break. Glover felt that that wasn't a clean break, that he that uh, Hawes threw some punches after the referee told him to break. And yes, Kyle. Philip Hawes has some massive tree trunks, his legs. I just noticed that. Look at the spin. There's a powerful kick. Well timed. Yeah, you don't want to eat too many from him. No. There. It's an inside low kick. You see as falls down in the spin glover there switching stances. Philip doing a good job of not leaving him space. Right. He's really crowding the taller, longer man. And he, he's timing those low kicks very well. Yes. Now working the body. Very strategic. Corner saying, finish on the head, Phil. That's good advice. That one seemed to clip right below the knee. That one hit the thigh. And now Phil is stalking the taller opponent. Has him back into the corner, which is a good place to have him. And again, landing that low kick. Again and again. Oh, oh, and he drops him with the inside low kick. Wow. We commented on it earlier. Glover is able to answer the count. And you have to believe that Phil Hawes is going to go right back yes, to it. And he does. There it is. That inside low kick. We saw Glover switching stances earlier in the fight, Matt. He might want to do that now. That leg, oh. that leg is done. He's literally he, fighting on one leg now, Kyle. He was stepping on the ropes for support. Changing stance, but that's not gonna help with these heavy leg kicks oh, coming. Oh, that was to the shin. He's just brutalizing the legs of Glover. Phil Hawes just throwing that low kick. It's only a matter oh. of time at this point. And he's wow. down again. It's going to be another eight count. And Matt, I have to be honest, I don't know if Mark Glover is going to be answering the count. It looks to be in excruciating pain. That's it. That's it. Wow. Took him out with the low kicks. Very impressive. Well, Matt, you said you've heard a lot about him, and the hype seems to be real. Philip Hawes putting on a tremendous performance. Brutalizing Mark Glover with low kicks. We're going to see a replay now. Punches to the head, followed by repeated kicks. Just takes out the leg. That was the salvo that ended the fight.
Okay, and we're going to go into the ring for the official announcement. Mark Glover is still having trouble standing up, limping his way to the center. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this bout was stopped at 2 minutes and 51 seconds of round one. Winner by knockout. He came out of the red corner, Philip Hawes. Hawes, how about winner? Philip Hawes out of Team Tiger Shulman, our knockout winner. I, mean, I felt those one. kicks all the way over here from that you can see the pain on 300 Spring Absolutely. Street Development and Newcastle Building Products. He is on the ground Phil now being Hors, tended to. Team Tiger Shulman, our knockout winner. I mean, Phil Hawes was throwing those kicks not just to the thigh on the outside and inside, but to the knee and to the yes. calf and to the shin. It was just, at some time, it seemed to be bone on bone. Uh, brutal, brutal kicks. Wow, you could see something bulging out right above his knee, around Mark Lover's knee. We are IPIC, an innovative pioneer in the eye care industry, bringing together the vast fields of ophthalmology, optometry, and opticianry as never before. IPIC, committed to excellence and superior vision care.